Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris, a.k.a. Born on 11970. And I find this kind of funny. This helicopter has been surround, going around my house, all around it, now about four or five times. I guess uh, Jesse Ventura is not too happy with the fact that uh, I'm talking about what I talk about. Obviously, I'm being semi-sarcastic. But... Uh, yeah, I actually find this funny, and there it goes, as you'll see, it's making a circle again. I'll follow it. There's no spotlights or anything like that, so it doesn't look like he's looking for anyone in particular. Well, there he goes. So I thought I would mention this. And heading right over by my house again. This will be now the sixth time. Gotta love it. And it's funny, like the majority of people say, you know, people like myself and others who research this stuff are all paranoid and things of that nature. And yet this helicopter day or two after I put all this stuff on Jesse Ventura's channel about how he's not answering our uh, request about the act of 1871 all of a sudden there's a helicopter making circles now six times over my house let's see if he turns around again yep and there he goes starting to make his turn So we'll just follow him. See, my thing is, I don't worry about it because I choose not to live in fear. Most people, unfortunately, they're easily manipulated because they get scared of certain things. But uh, that's not how I choose to live my life. I'm a firm believer in life is like a movie and you are the director and you get to choose and decide what you want in your movie. So for me, this is much, nothing more than just spectating and seeing something quite interesting. So let's see if he continues the circle. See if we go for lucky number seven. I wish I would have had my camera a little bit earlier, but I heard the noise and didn't think anything of it until I started looking out my window. Yep, there he goes, making the circle again. So just to show that, you know, I'm not just thinking, oh, you know, you're thinking crazy because he did it once. And here he comes again. And you'll see. Directly over the house again. So we'll just film it for a while and see where, how many times he'll actually do it. Yep, slowing down a little bit. Uh... See, and this is what happens, unfortunately, when you speak the truth. They will consider the people who go against the corruption, they will consider them the terrorists. But if you think about it, for example, if you used to work in uh, the Nazi army, and you realized how corrupt Hitler was, and you decided, I no longer want to be a part of that, and you decide to leave the Nazi party and uh, join the Allies. Well, according to Hitler and the Nazi party, you would be considered a traitor. So it's all in the perception of the person and the individual and the situation. Yeah, so right now, he's actually hovering, hasn't moved. So there's something interesting that this person in this helicopter from circling around above my house. Obviously there's something that they're looking for. Uh, sometimes you just gotta laugh. The only one thing I wish is that I would have actually put on a jacket because it's actually pretty darn cold. 
<laughs> uh, so let's see, will it be lucky number eight? Will we make another circle? Looks like they're doing it again. Well, I'll tell you. I'm sorry for the shaking. I'm actually starting to get really cold. I'm just wearing a t-shirt, but as you can see, he's making another turn. So I'm sure it's just a coincidence that this person is just happening to circle right over my house several times now and like I said um, there were many times he was circling before I even got the camera it wasn't until after a couple of times of hearing it over and over again I tried to investigate but uh, you know, let's see so I know some of my subscribers will say oh you got to be careful and oh you know this that and the other thing and I like I said I don't choose to live in fear you know, that's how they win. If they get everybody to be scared and they get everybody to decide, oh, it's time to be quiet, well, then that's how they stay in control. I refuse to do that. And, of course, here he comes, circling yet again. Again, I'm sure it's not paranoia, it's not anything. It's sure it's just coincidence that he keeps circling. So, Jesse Ventura must be upset that I'm questioning his integrity, which is funny because his off-the-grid show, he claims that anybody can email him any questions and he will answer it. And myself and others, now for over a month, have been talking about and requesting on his program called Off the Grid, where he says he moved to Mexico so he would get away from the tyranny and government control of silencing the media, we asked them to talk about the Act of 1871, where the 42nd Congress basically overthrew America and sold out the American people and created a corporation in the 20 square mile, mile radius of the District of Columbia, which they named the United States. And the person, Jesse, will not respond to mine or anybody's requests to answer this. They won't even acknowledge it. They won't even deny it. So sometimes through silence, you can get all the information that you need. And I guess calling him out, I guess this is his way of showing that, uh, and of course, you know, I can't say for sure that's who did it or that's what that is. But uh, here it goes for the circle. I think this is number 9 or 10. I'm losing count at this point. But it just goes to show that the people you think you can trust, you actually can't, unfortunately, in this world. That's why I don't listen to people anymore like Max Kaiser and Alex Jones and Lindsey Williams and all those people because they'll give you partial truths. They'll give you enough truth to actually, you know want to believe in what they have to say and listen to what they say and then they feed you a bunch of fear porn they try and be able to take your money with how Max Kaiser was bragging how he's a Bitcoin millionaire and uh, they give you uh, a bunch of propaganda you know like I've said before if you have 99 pounds of ice cream and you add a pound of crap to it and mix it together what do you have well you have 100 pounds of crap he finally put the spotlight on. So he's not circling. And it's right over my head with the spotlight. Interesting. So if it's not me, and I'm just being paranoid, there's obviously something that they need to pay attention to, so I'm going to be posting this rather soon. But, uh, yeah, I thought this would uh, make for some interesting video. And as you can see, it's not just some paranoia. Continually circling, and he's continuing circle now, just going another way. 
but yeah, right now the film is at what 19 minutes, and for 19 minutes now it's been he's been circling. Let's see what he does. Unfortunately, that street light's there, so you can see the blinking light right there. Yep, I think. Hmm, might be going away. Yep, maybe they're running out of fuel or something. Well, we'll see what happens. Give it a second and then. Yep, oh, wait. Looks like he's still circling. Oh, no, maybe actually taken off, but we'll see. Give it another minute. No, that looks like it's it. All right, so thanks for watching. Let's hear what your opinions are about this. And, you know, some people will say it's crazy. Some people will say it's paranoid or whatever, but I find it quite the coincidence. So if anything, I wanted to at least report it and show that I guess in this world, if you do try and stand up to tyranny, you'll at least be surveyed. So I guess I must be on the right track then, huh? Thanks for watching. Peace.